Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to How To Do Linux. I'm your host, Vintelorian, and in today's episode, we'll be going over the installation of Zorin OS 9.1 Core, right now on How To Do Linux. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started. Now, as I said before, in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the installation of Zorin OS 9.1 Core. Before I go and do that, I'm going to, to uh, give a shout out to the people over at cupoflinux.com. Um, they've given me endless support, um, lots of information that's been incredibly useful over the several months that I've been a member, and just an overall friendship in the Linux community. Uh, which I've been eternally grateful for. Uh, so let me take the time to do that, head on over to the Cup of Linux Lounge, and there goes my shout-out. Smile, fellas, you're on the air. <laughs> All right. Uh, now that I have taken the time to give you guys your shout-out, let's head right on over to VirtualBox and get this thing started. All right. Now I'm going to leave this open in the background and run VirtualBox here. And let's get started with the uh, installation of Zorin OS. Now I've set it up in VirtualBox so that uh, when I hit this start button, Zorin OS will start as if it would if it were in a, uh, a CD DVD tray in a uh, regular desktop. Uh, so this is exactly what it would look like if you put this CD in your computer and we'll just wait until it boots up. Alright, now this will be the screen that you see next. Uh, the option to try Zorin or install Zorin. Uh, now since I will be doing a distro review of this uh, particular Linux distro, I won't click try Zorin, but you could if you wanted to take a look at the distro before you installed it. Since all I want to do is install it, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Select my language, English, and head on over to install Zorin, and we wait until the next dialog box appears. Alright, the next dialog box makes sure that we have at least 2.9 gigabytes available in the drive space, and it's connected to the internet. Since both of those things are true for my machine, I will click download updates while installing, makes everything easier after the distro is installed, and then click OK. Alright, the next dialog box is asking for the installation type. The computer currently has no detected operating systems, so it's asking me what I would like to do. Since I don't have anything else that I want to save on this drive, since it's in VirtualBox, all I want to do is erase the disk and install Zorin OS. If you wanted to, you could click something else and arrange the partitions in some various form that, that you choose and uh, customize it to your liking. But since I don't want to do that, I'll just click Erase Disk and Install Zorin. And then we click Install Now and wait until the next dialog box appears. Alright, now it's asking where we are located. I am located here-ish. Uh, the closest city would definitely be Detroit. Um, and that is, uh, that's f so that it can detect your time zone and provide you with the correct time uh, on the clock that will appear up here, or rather down here, depending on where you put the, uh, the taskbar in Zorin OS. And once you've selected your location, just click Continue, and the next dialog box will appear. It asks for the keyboard layout. I'm using an English US keyboard, so I will select English US on both sides. Uh, you can uh, choose different various keyboards if you wish, such as the Macintosh or the Dvorak uh, keyboard. But since I'm just using a standard English US keyboard, I'll just select English US and then click Continue. Alright, now it's asking who we are. It wants the name, so I'll give it my name. I want the computer name to just say that. The username will be Ventilorian. Uh, my password, something that I remember, something secure, and uh, something easy for me to remember. Uh, I always recommend that you click Require the Password to Log In. 
uh, over login automatically because if you select login automatically anyone can have access to all of your files if they get onto your computer. Uh, I always click require the password to log in. It's much more secure that way. If you're extra paranoid and you want to encrypt your home folder so that none of the files can be accessed without a password, you can do that, but I don't have a need for that, so I will leave that unchecked. Then we'll click continue and move on. All right. Now we've got a little slideshow playing as it installs uh, Zorin OS. Uh, now since I am not overly interested in what it has to say here, uh, it'll just give information about the distro and um, you know various features that this distro has that others might not. Uh, I'm just going to skip over this and not pay much attention to it. Uh, it'll be copying the files down here. Uh, and I won't bore you with the rest of the installation process. Um, at the end of this dialog box, you will see something uh, telling you that the installation is finished and asking if you want to uh, restart the computer now or continue, uh, continue testing if you selected the uh, test Zorin OS first. If you selected install now or install Zorin like I did, uh, it should just give you an option to restart now. Uh, and once you do that, uh, then uh, Zorin OS will be installed. So I won't bore you with waiting for this little blue line to go all the way across and uh, finish the installation, but that's what will be there at the end. Uh, just stopping back in uh, to give another shout out to the Cup of Linux Lounge. Um, I have endlessly appreciated what is on this website, what it stands for, um, what Spatry, the host of this website, stands for, the, the content that he puts out is phenomenal. So uh, just take a look at him and his page on YouTube. Uh, just uh, just uh, search for Spatry in the YouTube search bar and you should find exactly what you're looking for. But for now, that is all I have for you. Thanks for stopping in and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, check out all my other videos. Uh, but until next time, this is Ventalorian signing off.